Uh, okay, so Jesse and I were just hanging out here in the shop, uh, the Trek bike store here on Catherine Street, and as Jesse is much like a squirrel, he's seen a very shiny object, and he's had to go get it. He's had to chase after it. He's noticed here in the back of the shop uh, a new bike that was just brought in for a customer. This is an Amanda SLR, so US made frame, um, DI2 Durace, handmade carbon wheels. This bike's got a couple of really cool touches on it here. It's got a one piece carbon bar and stem. So you can see here, there's just all one unit here molded together, extremely light. And as well, this has got the Bond Trigger Triple X saddle on it, which is really, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's a saddle in the loosest of the definition, really. More of a piece of uh, shell that you'd normally put a saddle on top of, but in this case, it's all about weight savings with this bike. This is probably one of the lightest ones in their lineup. So what separates this from the rest? From, compared to some other ones we've looked at in the past, like the Madone we've looked at on uh, another previous video of Jesse's where like that bike's intended purpose is top speed. This bike's the climbing bike. So this one's really sharp handling, really, really agile, nimble, like standing up and sprinting on a steep climb. It just accelerates. It, this thing's, this is the climber setup basically, more of a classic road bike. Whereas uh, like that Madone we looked at before was kind of a more modern aero road bike, which is becoming quite popular. But this is more like, I want a classic road bike. It's going to be an amazing climber. Um, yeah, that's kind of this one's intended purpose. Cool. It's a beauty. It is. Yeah. I like the color. Yeah, the team team paint scheme for this year, Trek Sega Frego team. Pretty fancy. Another bike that's not really leaving much to be desired. This guy will be be hard to be disappointed with this one, that's for sure. <laughs>